Alright guys, just a quick warning before this video starts. Although Black Widows aren't considered deadly, they're venomous and very dangerous. Ryan the Bugman is an experienced professional who's been handling spiders and insects for over 40 years. The symptoms of a Black Widow bite may include nausea, chills, fever, muscle cramps and spasms, stomach and body pain, shock, and severe high blood pressure. Please do not attempt to capture or handle Black Widow spiders. Please be safe. We are here to educate. Okay guys, so people don't often know and they don't realize that one of the things I like to do is uh, I do Black Widow removals and rescues. So when people find Black Widow spiders in and outside of their homes, because they don't find them in their homes very often, but when they find them and they're freaking out, they, they call me to come bring, you know, come get them. So I don't kill them. What I do is I capture them, I keep them, and then I use them for educational programs. This morning we got a phone call from a lady who found a black widow in her garden. Um, she's at, she has kids, they have pets, you know, she's not real happy this thing's hanging around. Odds are she has more than she realizes because these things are pretty common. So we are on our way down to her house to rescue a black widow spider uh, I get really excited about this kind of stuff um, I love doing these type of things it's very unique uh, this doesn't happen often but it happens you know, it happens a couple times a summer so we're gonna get down here we're gonna see if we can find the spider we're gonna rescue it hopefully and then we're gonna bring it back to Bugman headquarters uh, where then I'll just keep it alive and use it in programs Tell me where we're at here. You found a black widow yep. in the garden. In the garden, yep. Okay. Was it amongst the plants, amongst the weeds? No, nope, it was just in a roll of black felt stuff for stuff keeping that, weeds out. Stuff that had been laid down there, mm -hmm. left there. How long was the stuff laying there? A year. Oh, probably. okay, really. You found other black widows? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what we'll do, we're gonna we're gonna go find this one first and then we're going to do a search and we'll see if we can find any more. Um, do you guys have particular places that you generally find them? Uh, we found one last, just a couple years ago, just on our window. Okay, so, so we'll check window yeah. sills. You guys understand they're venomous, that you shouldn't touch them, okay? But they're not like hunting you, right? You guys understand, they're not, they're not trying to hurt you, but don't mess with them when you find them, right? Mm -hmm. Make sure you tell, make sure you tell your mom or your dad when you find these things. You guys want to help us look for some black widows? All right, sure. we'll get you, we'll get you in. Careful where you're walking, all right? You know, you're not wearing good shoes for this, but just be careful where you're walking. Changed. It's all good. <laughs> all right, so that's what we're here for. We're gonna find your black widows and take them with us. We'll get the black widows out of your way. Cool. All right, good, Sounds awesome. good. All right. Try not to reach into places because spiders can hide up inside things like this. So it's not that I'm not that I'm really worried about you guys being bitten, because I'm really not. Okay. I'm just trying to teach them that when they're actively looking for these things, if you go looking for black widows, you'll find them. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we'll go over here and we'll try and find uh we'll try and see if that one's out and then uh, from there we'll We'll go, but if you guys want to go check some of these buckets and go look around a little bit, you can do that. Oh, in that big roller. Yeah. 
Okay, have you searched the, the rule for any more? Uh, no. This would be a great, perfect place for one, actually. Um, I'm going to poke around in here a little bit, but I don't want to do it with my hands. And there is web in here, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's Black Widow. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in there. That's cool. All right. That's a great place for one, though. So over here, then. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to do. Here we go. Here we go. Keep her from getting away. Get her on this thing. We'll be okay. So they pointed us to it and a little bit of investigation and we were able to get it. Um, we're still going to check the, the rest of the perimeter of the property. Um, I don't worry too much about being in the home because black widows don't want to come in your home. They, they like being out here where the elements are. So I'm not too worried about black widows being in their home, but there's a good chance there are more of them out around the property. You notice she's not trying to attack me. She's not coming after me. She's more interested in getting back down on the ground and getting to wherever she can find some shelter. She's out here in the bright sun. That's not really exciting her too much either. But we're still going to look. You know, we're going to check the garden a little bit better. There's some buckets and there's some things around here that we might find some more black widows. And then we're going to leave the garden and we're going to check. There's a swing set. There's a chicken coop. There's some, there's a pole barn here. We're going to check around. We're going to look to see where we can find more of these and maybe get these out of here so uh, she doesn't have to worry about her kids and their pets and things. but it's a black widow. All right, man, There's a, this is a, just a small little shelter built for their calves, built for their, their livestock. Um, again, man, it's, a, it's just a perfect place for black widows. I haven't looked, I did a quick overview inside here, but I haven't really gone in and looked yet, and I'm gonna do that. So. Either way, this is the kind of place that's outside, sheltered, yet not too sheltered. Uh, black widows don't want to be inside. They don't want to be in your homes. Shelters. Yep, not seeing anything. So, so far, so good. Good, good. This is a wolf spider, female. She has eggs. Wolf spiders aren't aggressive. Even inside a toy like this, that's another good spot. A lot of spiders, no black widows. You know, a lot of normal, just normal sack spiders and different things, but nothing that, uh, nothing screaming black widow. There's a really nice web right here with a spider feeding on earwigs. Ooh, there's a bunch of. Yeah, keep in mind, guys, there's a wasp nest under here. And that's just a Polistes. Yeah, yeah. Well, that'd be a great place for juvies, but I'm not finding any of those either. All right. There's another web, another one of the cellar spiders, the same kind of, same kind of little bugs. Yeah, nothing on here. 
This house is clean. All right, we're good there. And black widows really love these kinds of places. Because again, they're in the elements, but not directly affected by them. So we're gonna check this pretty close. That's a tight web down there. That looks, that looks, let me see how hard that is. Uh, it's soft, it's, I doubt that's a black widow because that's pretty soft web. Um, lots of spider webs, that's for sure, man. But uh, again, I'm not, not really concerned about what's gonna be up in the hot part of the grill because I don't expect anything to be there. And there's more web. I don't have anything on the, I don't have anything on the tank, but I got more web. Back in here. And nothing there. So we're good. All right. So nothing in the grill. Spidey, but it's not the one we're looking for. You guys like daddy long lighters? Your mom probably doesn't though, does she? <laughs> I mean, that's the one I can handle. Though. Of course. And that's the truth. You could handle that. You could handle that the most. You know why you can handle that? Because they're not venomous. Okay guys, another place that is very common for black widows are window wells. Um, what happens is most people put coverings over these. So when you put a cover over your window well, well that's going to protect it from the elements. Again, the spiders are going to be outside, but they get in here and then they don't have to worry about being directly impacted. So no cover on this one. So odds are there's no black widows hiding in here. Um, it's suspected the kids probably play around in here a little bit too. So that, that kind of human activity around here probably keeps some of the spiders away. Um, but keep in mind, if you have window wells, you want to check those. Uh, you want to keep an eye on those because that's a pretty common place to find black widow spiders. When's the last time he put any wood on the stack? Um, yeah, it's been a few months. All right. Several well, there's a good chance there might be something hanging around. A lot of times the black widows will go to the bottom of the wood pile. I don't find too many right up on the top because again, it gets too wet. Right here. Nah, nothing going on there. I've got a big web right here. I don't know what. To... Yeah, that's too soft. That's not black wood though. Whoop, there's a spider right there. Not a black widow, that's for sure. One more place. We got the access to a basement. And depending on how often people are using these, I gotta be careful, I don't wanna reach in underneath to lift things up. So I'm gonna walk down in and I'm gonna look before I start touching things because I don't like indiscriminately grabbing and moving things. What I'm looking for Looking for web, I'm looking for egg sacs, and I'm especially looking for the spiders themselves. But signs of the spiders usually will turn up a spider. And there's lots of spiders in here, but not what we're looking for. Again, lots of spiders, lots of web. But there's no black widows here. Good. Good for them. Good for the spiders too. Wood piles are really common. Um, they're also generally put, you know, placed away from the homes. Uh, they're left for months at times. Sometimes people even tarp over their wood piles to keep their, their wood dry. These are great places for black widows. All these little nooks and crannies and little hiding spots that are in amongst here, they'll get in there. 
I generally don't find black widows at the top of the wood pile. They're usually down toward the bottom where the, where the water and the rain doesn't get to as fast. So if I were going to really do a thorough search of this, I wouldn't tear apart the wood pile. That wouldn't make any sense at all. But using a bright light, I can peek in. And again, I'm, I'm not even going to look for spiders themselves. I'm going to look for web. And if I see web, that's where I'll investigate. And, and keep in mind, there's multiple layers to this wood pile. So the spiders are going to better make a run for it really fast. Probably as soon as the light hits them, they'll make a, they'll make a run for it. So I got to look carefully and look quickly while I'm doing this so I don't miss seeing any spiders. Now, if I see one down in here, this low on the wood pile, I, I don't know if I'll uh, be able to get it or not because I don't want to tear apart their entire wood pile. But I would make them aware of it, make sure they knew it was here, and that way, uh, over time, the spider would move on just from the activity being as they, as they lower the wood pile. The spider's going to move on. Also, in the winter time, these spiders are going to go back. They're going to go into hibernation, or they're going to die off. So, by winter time, these spiders probably aren't even a even a you know, even a mediocre threat. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything. It's blatant in here. Again, black widow web is really strong, thick, durable, and if you touch it, it doesn't break. Like this is going to break. I can tell by looking at this. Real lightweight webbing and uh, the black widow web wouldn't the black widow web wouldn't be like this black widow would be a lot stronger a lot heavier so when i touch it it doesn't give it's almost like a trampoline and i'm not seeing anything that's uh, pretty clean in here right now which is which is good spiders might be keeping each other cleaned out of here pretty well all right so at least at least this wood pile, the outside edge of it looks pretty clean. Now there's a whole inside to that wood pile that there could be a hundred black widows in there and I'm not going to know it. Guys, here's a second black widow and I want to look around because this is one, this one's all about the same size as the other one, not real big. So I'm beginning to wonder if they've already laid eggs. Uh, and that bothers me a little bit. So I'm going to poke around a little bit, see if I can find egg sacs. Now guys, I'm doing this, but that doesn't mean I want everybody else to, all right? Let's all keep in mind, these are venomous spiders. I'm a little more comfortable working with them than most people would be. Um, but these things can hurt you. These things can mess you up. So just please, please note that this is not something you want to, you know, you don't want to mess around with these things. You don't want to play with these things. They don't attack and bite right out of the gate. What they'll do is they turn and they they try to douse their attacker with silk. And that's what she's been doing to the stick. She turns at the stick and tries to dump silk on it. And there you go, guys. Second one. Two. So we're going to get her into a cup and we'll take her back to Bugman headquarters. Again, man, we don't want to kill these things. You know, they're, they're not hurting anybody in the, in the outright sense. They're just, they're just part of the ecosystem. All right, guys, what we have, there's web in here. There was a, uh, a piece of metal. It was an old crushed bucket laying over top with a stick and she was hiding inside the stick when I found her, but there's a lot of web here. Um, and I crushed a lot of this down when I was messing around and I kind of regret doing that because I'm hoping that somewhere in the webbing, there's gonna be eggs. There's gonna be an egg sac. Um, we didn't find one with the other one and that was rolled up in a, uh, a big roll of, of weed guard for their garden. Um, I found the web, but I didn't find an egg sac in the web. So this case, I'm looking for web and anywhere I might find... I don't, I don't like digging around. I don't like digging around with my hands because you never know, man. You never know. There might be more. Uh, they don't lo normally live that close to each other, but still. I know we're finding black widows today, so I'm being real careful. Now there's web. There's web all the way up across here. There it is. 
There it is, right there. Um, I don't have, I don't, I don't, I don't want to hurt it. It's already got a dent. There we go. Oh, 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 that's what I was worried about. Okay. That is the egg sac of the black widow spider that we just found. Nice. All right, guys, so we're done here now. We've, we've pretty much scanned around and looked around and dug around the whole property. Uh, we've covered a lot of really good areas. Some of these key spots where I was actually sort of expecting to find black widows. Uh, we got the one that they found up in their garden and we were lucky enough to find the bonus one that's down here behind the swing set. Um, that was really cool because she also has an egg sac. So super cool that we were able to come here and help these folks out. Again, she has kids and she has pets and she has things here. She really doesn't, she doesn't hate the spiders, but she also doesn't want them around. So uh, she called us to come get these. Um, and, and again, she probably has more floating around the house. All right, so once again, to end off the video here, although black widows aren't considered deadly, they're venomous and very dangerous. Ryan the Bugman is an experienced professional who's been handling spiders and insects for over 40 years. The symptoms of a black widow bite may include nausea, chills, fever, muscle cramps and spasms, stomach and body pain, shock, and severe high blood pressure. Please do not attempt to capture or handle black widow spiders. Please be safe. We are here to educate.